Let us not glide through this world and then slip quietly into heaven without having blown the trumpet loud and long for our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Let us see to it that the devil will hold a thanksgiving service in hell when he gets the news of our departure from the battlefield. Brethren, the devil will try and put us to sleep. Brothers and sisters, it's Jared. First off, I got my first strike on a video that I made a couple of months ago. So if you guys would, please sub my backup channel. I'll leave a link in the description. It's Puritan Pictures. Alright, now let's get into this. If you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you can see that the Satanic Elite and Illuminati are using cartoons as a propaganda tool to indoctrinate our children into their Satanic society by promoting their imagery, ideals, and symbolism in the shows that our children enjoy to watch. Now many people see triangles and eyeballs and it means nothing to them. I understand they're just shapes. I understand that this stuff is hard to understand in the flesh. But if you research into these groups and you understand that they are working for a satanic system and they are symbolizing their master, Lucifer, and they are promoting that imagery to our children, you'll begin to get an idea of what they are doing. They are desensitizing our children to their occult symbols. So when the Antichrist society arises and those symbols come out of the shadows, our children will already be used to them in the things that they enjoy. They'll already see them as a good thing subconsciously. Alright, in this video we're going to be linking the Illuminati occult symbolism to the Antichrist and the Mark of the Beast. The new Looney Tunes on Cartoon Network uses a lot of this symbology. And here you're going to see late Mark of the Beast promotion. Some of this symbolism and promotion is the apocalyptic scenario with people partying and riding in the streets. Daffy Duck being the capstone of the Illuminati all seeing eye pyramid lit up like the light bear, Lucifer, or pagan sun worship. And in this episode with the lottery ticket, it has Mark of the Beast promotion. Three sixes? Three sixes! I won! I won the lottery! I'm rich! Now that's plain as day, guys. It promotes the mark of the beast. It promotes materialism, money worship to your kids. It's all the same thing, guys. It's all the, the joys and the loss of this world fed to our kids as what's right, what's good. Now, I know a lot of us want to be like, well, that's cartoons today, but after some further digging, uh, I see that the old Looney Tunes was doing it too. I guess I just wasn't catching it as a kid. And this is the type of stuff we've been doing for a long time, guys. So here's older Looney Tunes, Daffy Duck, same Mark of the Beast promotion. Yes, sir. Take this gentleman to Suite 666. Yes, sir. Here we are. I pray that the Holy Spirit of God begins to reveal to you what is going on. The Illuminati. Is not just a group that wants to control the world. The Illuminati is a group that is under control of Lucifer, and they are setting up a world government in which the Antichrist will rule and will force everyone to worship him and wear the mark of the beast. Our Lord in his holy scriptures warned us about this system long before it began to show its face. We've been told that they will wear the mark on their right hands and in their foreheads. And as we look at the popular medias of today, this is the exact type of subliminal messaging and promotion they are pushing at us on a constant basis in all the things that we take in as our entertainment. This is not on accident. This is deliberate. And it is meant to prepare the masses to accept the mark of the beast. Whatever you believe about the Bible or don't believe about the Bible, whatever you think about Jesus Christ or God, you have to understand that a lot of that is influenced by a society that hates God. A lot of it is spoon-fed to you by a society that is trying to downplay God and push Him out. Why are they trying to do that while at the same time promoting the mark of the Antichrist? People say, think critically, think for yourself, don't just believe the Bible. Really? Are you thinking critically? Are you thinking for yourself? Understand what is going on. Don't go with the masses, but think for yourself truly. And understand that Jesus Christ told us the truth before, and he was telling us the truth, and he said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Jesus Christ is Lord. Believe on him. He laid his life down so you do not be trapped in the system. Do not willingly give yourself to it. I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict you and show you these truths. God bless.